And I think one of the reasons why I do so much is because I just need to get myself out there. Like I don't want to just be a regular person. I want to be remembered for something. So that's why I do, you know, digital painting. I do actual paintings. We do comedy skits. I do short films. I direct, I edit. Like when you learn how to do everything yourself, you don't really need to rely on anyone, but it just makes it so much harder. That's why I'm so thankful that I teamed up with Capri and Mr. Man and D Todd and Walt. And we're just, we, we work as a team, you know? So it takes a lot of burden off my back. I can do other things now. I'm looking to sell my art on uh, Etsy right now. Um, I'm putting together my YouTube channel. I'm a little late, I know. Um, I always post on Instagram or Facebook, but I would really got to get my YouTube uh, subscribers up. Other than that, it's like, um, I don't know, it's the way I see the world is like, I've seen, the, I've seen the show Westworld, right? And how they're programming robots to be like people. And I start thinking about people differently, like the capacity of people's minds. I just feel like my capacity is bigger than most people's minds. Like I, I love to learn. I teach myself a lot of stuff and I see a lot of people just kind of living every day, a mundane week, turns into a mundane month, a mundane year. It's like you work for somebody and you never really work for yourself. You don't have anything to show for your time. So the best way I can describe it in my mind for everyone else is a pyramid scheme. Like, it, you know, but that's life is a pyramid scheme. Everybody starts on level one. Certain people are destined to live on level one, you know, homeless people, people with, you know, they have no goals in life, basically. They just keep, the cycle just keeps going. Like, oh, wake up, eat, go to work, come home, eat, watch TV, go to sleep, and it starts all over again the next day. So they don't really have any experiences. They don't see new people. They don't see new things. It's just the same thing over and over. And I just, it scares me. That's like one of my biggest fears is that I wake up one day and I'm 80 years old and I have nothing to show for my time and I'm still working at a job that I hate. So once you pass level one, level two in the pyramid of, of life, the game of life, it, less people. In every level you go up, there's less people doing what you're doing. No matter what it is you're doing, you can be a singer, rapper, artist, comedian, anything. There's people doing it. There's levels to it. And it's your goal or it's your responsibility to level up. If you keep doing the same things, making the same mistakes over and over again, you're just going to stay on that same level. And that just, it scares the hell out of me when I think about it. So I just try to be better than I was yesterday, learn from mistakes that I made previously and um, just move up move up the ladder. I'm ready to, I'm ready to make a living doing this shit. You know what I mean? Like I can sell my paintings and prints of my paintings and digital stuff and all that stuff. But it's like, is it enough to live off of? I can do comedy skits and short films, but if it's not getting me the recognition, am I really going to get paid for it? But I mean, it all started with a passion. So it's not like I'm doing it for money. I'm doing it because it's what I genuinely love to do. Rather nothing than just to wake up every day and just do what I love. I know people say they want to do that, but nobody really acts on it. Are you willing to move away? Are you willing to sacrifice people, things in your life to better yourself? That's the question. A lot of people aren't willing to do that. It's just, it's, they'd rather do what's easy every day. Whatever's easiest. Oh, I haven't quit smoking cigarettes because I'm not strong enough. Like we tell ourselves that we're not strong enough. We're, we are way more capable of what we're doing as a society, as people, as a human race. Like we're addicted to shit. We let things stand in the way of being productive. We get discouraged so easily. Oh, I'm just gonna get high or drunk and just not get shit done. And I'm like, are you okay with that? How are you okay with living your life like that? I'm not. So. That's, I guess that's what just makes me different. I can't, I'm not trying to change anyone because this is what makes me me. I just think that if I do what I'm supposed to do, maybe by example, other people will be inspired to do what they're supposed to do and stop waiting for it to come. You got to start making fucking choices right now for five years from now or else you're just going to be in the same place you are right now five years from now. And I feel like... 
I feel a sense of urgency. Like I got to get it done. I got to do it right now. That's why I'm always creating something. It's because I, it's like my meditation. I just stop thinking about all my problems and focus on this one thing right now in the now and everything else just fades away. And it's like an addiction for me. Like I constantly have to be doing something or I feel like I'm not doing enough. And it's like a blessing and a curse. Um, I think anyways, I think it's like never satisfied with anything. But then once I'm never satisfied with anything, I can't be happy. So it's like I have to find a, you have to find a perfect medium to weigh everything out or you're just gonna go fucking crazy. And uh, I don't wanna go crazy, you know? I don't wanna do that. So I don't know, man. I guess just stay tuned for what I have coming in store, what me and the crew have coming in store. We got big things planned. Um, it's all about execution, man. Got get everybody on the same page execute the shit properly and find our audience really basically that's what it all comes down to it's finding the right audience that fucks with what you do and i've had people always say oh i love your art i love your art but are you buying the art are you gonna buy some no you like it i like it too you know that's why i did it but are you buying it i'll say you're a print are you buying a print no you're not even buying a print for 40 dollars. damn how much do you really like it so it's like i have to just get myself in front of the right people that have money and that believe in me and uh, I feel like if I just maintain a positive mental attitude then the sky is the limit and no one can ever stand in your way if you're doing the best you can do for yourself all right thank you very much I appreciate it all right